Hey guys, one of the viewers asked about posting video of my scuff right on interchange, so here it is. I will give you breakdown of my plays and throw some tips here and there. So first thing, it's pretty obvious, I check my items, do necessary keybinds, check firing mode and in this case I switch position of tactical device because I just prefer having it on the other side. I spawned with 14 minutes left on the timer, so not much time left. But also that means I don't have to be extra careful about sounds, so I just walk over the metal escalator. Still not running too. I noticed that scav that was not looted. You can see his gun still on the body. It should always be a red flag for you. It's highly probably nobody bothered to loot him, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Since front shelves can have decent loot, I decide to check from that spot and then move to the body after I have scanned the area. Ok, it seems clear, so I go for the body. As expected, nothing amazing on the scav, but at least the chest rig gave me two more inventory slots. From there I could probably go back to Oli and loot back shelves and then office area near those and go out through the main Oli entrance, or even to be extra safe, just move through the back of Oli to Emercom checkpoint. Since I have decent enough gun, I decide to check GPU spawns and try to fight for it if needed. This is not uncommon place to bump onto another player's scuff or sneaky PMC, so I check my surroundings before approaching Techno. To be sure nobody is hiding, I check the hallway to Goshan office and back of furniture store. There is also a weapon crate there and spawn for a K on red couch. Plus, if I'm lucky, I may hit good electronic item and household item on their spawn points there. I thought I heard something, but it was probably gunfire outside. Crouching in this place is good practice anyway, since you can be easily seen from Oli if you are standing. Well, guess I heard somebody after all. Man, AKS 74 you kicks a lot. Should probably go with semi-auto in this scenario. Anyway, I could hear I hit him and he instantly started running. Time to pursue him, but you have to remember that this could be also a bait. He could just run a little, turn around and pre-aim the corner, giving him an edge. That's why I just decide to go around. I risk not catching him, but in that case I don't have to worry about him anyway and I can loot in peace. Guess he's really hurt and try to go for main entrance to get outside. I crouch this time to compensate a little for high recoil. Unfortunately, he was not alone or he was very lucky and just got ignored. I can tell it's a player's cuff cause you can see a weapon on his back, he is also moving in a strange way compared to AI. I decided to switch place to throw him off a little. Again, not going for semi-auto mode was a huge mistake. I can also hear somebody running. It could be him trying to shorten the distance, quite good strategy if you have a shotgun.
I am little hurt and making a lot of noise, so I disengage to try my luck at a later time. The main goal now is to find meds, so I will not die with one chest shot. There are some loose spawns in Adik, plus a sport bug, but nothing was there. In a hindsight, I should probably fall back to Oli, loot there and extract. But I wanted to try my luck and check middle to get maybe surprise attack on that player's calf I fought earlier. After checking mid, I can go to Mantis to try find some meds. Nobody in the open, so I go for Mantis. Ok, normally I would call making so much noise a mistake, but in reality it's 6 minutes left on the clock, so running on escalator like that makes total sense. Big mistake was going ADS here, it's something I'm trying to stop doing. At this distance you should almost always go for point shooting. Lucky for me, I quickly realized my mistake and just pre-fired him when turning the corner. He had some loot, so my risk paid off and this raid can still be saved. It seems somebody is still near main entrance. This is very busy raid if you ask me. Finally some meds. In situation when I can't heal everything, I go for thorax first and then for the head. Most headshot can kill you anyway, but full HP on thorax may save you. One trick I use here is I move magazines in my rig. If they are full, the game will instantly check them and show a mo count. Quite handy trick if you are in a hurry. Alright, not much time left. Time to get out. Jackpot baby. Now, I have made the same mistake as my previous opponents on the assumption nobody will be still around. Since weapon case is open, it was probably looted, so I don't bother checking jackets after all. And here is what I was talking about. Somebody probably heard me when I was sprinting on wood in German. Ok, so let me explain my moves there. First, I did not instantly peek from cover. I tried to check slowly if I can locate an enemy and then fast peek, but I didn't pinpoint him there. Did you? Yeah, he was prone on the second floor, quite easy kill if you know where he is. To go more into details about the situation, I waited few seconds in cover before peeking. To be fair, I probably should have waited a little longer. Now, playing on time like that is useful, because in case it was AI scav, he would lose aggro on me. If that was a player, he could just run out of stamina to ADS or just stop it to look around. So when you pick him, you can get some fighting chance. I heard somebody running towards me, I decided it's not worth picking, since I was not sure where he is and just went for YOLO run for my life. First shots were also inaccurate, so that also gave me some confidence to go for it. Time is ticking away, so no point going slow. Still checking angles a little.
Then I check mine entrance in case they went for me that way. When extracting, I always try to check hidden stashes, but since timer is quite low, I just go for only this one. Still checking middle in case they are running for exfield too. Always checking my back in case somebody is going for extract at the same time as me. Then scanning exfil area and here we go. I didn't record how I'm selling stuff, but the total profit was around 600k and half of it was lucky GPU find. I hope this was nice showcase that you don't have to always kill the whole map to get some loot. Making good decisions can carry you a little. If you like this video, consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and see you on raids.